Uh, we're in uh, 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 Shampoo Vineyards Block 1, which was planted in 1972. Uh, it's a fairly infamous vineyard. Uh, it's all Cabernet Sauvignon Clone 8. Uh, some really fine wines have been made off of this vineyard and, and, and continue to be. Now with the winter, we, we did have winter damage here at Shampoo Vineyards, uh, uh, significant damage in particularly Cabernet Sauvignon on down the, on the, the, the flatter lands where there's not much slope. Uh, this block one and block two are on a pretty good slope, so we didn't have too much damage here at all. We're, we're fairly normal here. I pruned it normal and uh, the fruit and it seems to be normal. Uh, two clusters per shoot, one and a half clusters per shoot. Uh, some of them have two, some of them have one. Uh, so pretty normal. This, uh, these old, these old soldiers here are, are, are taking a toll, but they're they're producing what they should be. You know, I really uh, feel good about the quality that comes off here and and uh, the longevity of this vineyard. So they're 72, so that means they're 30, 39 years old. Hmm. So uh, they're older than most people that are, that are in, involved in the wine industry. Uh, which the wine industry is real young, as we all know, but it's uh, uh, it's great being part of this industry. It's it's, it's fun and it's uh, and it's uh, educational and it's a uh, a great career. Uh, this block goes to uh, uh, Woodward Canyon from Walla Walla gets uh, some of this block, and Charlie Hoppus from Fidelitas gets some of this block. Uh, Chris Camarda from Andrew Will gets some of this block. Uh, uh, and uh, Shanaean Winery also get some of this block. So it's spread out pretty good and they all get, oh, from uh, oh, three to seven ton. So it's, uh, it's well known and some fine wines are being made from these fine winemakers that I deal with. Well, in July 09, uh, I was bit by mosquito and uh, I contracted the West Nile virus. Uh, the West Nile virus uh, it doesn't affect some people, but it does affect other people. So it, it, my, my warning is protect yourself from mosquitoes. Uh, some of those ways are, you know, stay out of the, out from outside when dusk and dawn, you know, when the mosquitoes are out prevalent. Uh, protect yourself by uh, uh, deleting any standing water that's around your home or your place or your or any water. Uh, a uh, mosquito lays its eggs and three days later it hatches. So they are real prevalent. Uh, the mosquito is the vector of, of the West Nile virus. Uh, birds are the carriers, mainly blackbirds, uh, uh, starlings, a few different types of hawks. Uh, but it's in all counties of the state uh, that it has been found. Uh, just. Uh, wear your DEET, uh, you're off, uh, protect yourself what you can. Uh, it doesn't affect some people, but it affects some people to where, uh, you know, I haven't been able to uh, walk for about two years. I'm able to get on a four-wheeler and uh, <clears throat> able to go out and check my vines now. That and that's That's been about, oh, five months that I've been able to do this. I am doing some replanting uh, the, in some of my uh, flat ground where I had some uh, uh, some significant winter damage. Uh, I have one block that I it probably 40% oh, of my vines were dead, you know, no growth on top or from suckers on the bottom. So we're going to probably replant that. The, the, the spacing on it was will be changed, you know, the row spacing and also the plant density will be changed and, and it's going to be a better block once we, once we get her changed out. Uh, it'll be back in three years and uh, I'm look, kind of looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be in a, in a spot that we're going to have maybe a couple of different clones of Cabernet. It'll go back into Cabernet, but uh, 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 it's part of the industry for, for long term. You know, we, we're going to be in this for long term and, and we want to uh, make it the best possible. And we're going to eventually have some fine wines out of that block also. Yeah, I thought, uh, when I was looking at uh, the different varieties that uh, In the Desert uh, uh, Nursery have, and I saw a variety called Marquette. 
And I went to high school in Yakima at Marquette High School. And uh, one of my winemakers, partner winemakers, is uh, Chris Camarda, and his dad went to Marquette University. So anyway, when I saw this variety Marquette on there, I had to plant some. So I, I planted about a half acre Marquette, and uh, I'm real excited. It's a red variety, and I'm real excited about uh, uh, seeing what becomes of it. It's real winter hardy. It's from uh, Wisconsin, and uh, some of the, the literature on it was at minus 25, minus 30 degrees, it still hit, produced full crop. So that, that sounds real good for the wine industry in Washington, which we have those problems once in a while. But, you know, that's not why, why I get it with, uh, was for, because of the, the cold hardiness, but that's one of the reasons. But, you know, uh, it's, uh, it's, I'm alumni of Marquette, and I just thought it would be kind of special to do something for, for uh, the history and some of the old guys that I went to school with. Uh, they'll probably buy all the wine I get from it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> And this is a hybrid grape? It's a hybrid, yes. It's uh, 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 developed at uh, uh, Marquette University. Uh, and so I'm real excited. But it's, it's a grandson of Pinot Noir. And uh, uh, I'm just real excited about it. I think it's going to grow real well here. I think uh, the, the weather we have here in eastern Washington is going to make different flavors and different growing conditions than they have back, you know, back in the Midwest. So anyway, it's going to be exciting, and uh, we'll keep you updated on it, how they do it. You know, I'm sure, Andy, you'll be tasting some of the wines that come from it one of these days. You bet. So anyway. All right. Well, Paul, thanks for your time. Oh, you bet.